One. Hey everyone, welcome. My name's Odin and I have Andrew Wagner here. And uh, if you don't know a little bit about me, well, then you're going to have to learn about me some other time because today is all about Andrew and the conversation that I've been having with Andrew. As you can see right down here, I've been having a conversation with Andrew. And uh, we've been talking about Bitcoin. And uh, I've, uh, I've been invited to a Bitcoin summit that's coming up. And uh, I've been learning more and more about Andrew. And I, something I really like about Andrew, he's been expanding my mind in how uh, Bitcoin works and what it is as a currency and uh, specifically um, uh, digital currency. And so I've been, I, I'm really, really green at this, guys. My experience is in real estate and in marketing, uh, marketing and sales and, uh, uh, and helping other businesses with their sales and marketing plans and, and creating successful plans that businesses can follow. And so I really love business models. And when I started talking to Andrew, uh, and he and first thing that he did is he asked if we can come out and help or the company I work with and uh, uh, he we said sure no problem because this was an interesting topic and we were introduced to Andrew through another friend of ours uh, Lisa Lee and I'll give her honorable mention because she's an amazing and awesome person and if you don't know her you want to know her um, she's just one of those go-giver types if you have her in, in your life she's just awesome in every way and uh, so I met Andrew through through Lisa and uh, um, and I would just started this conversation back and forth and guys it's gotten to the point for those who know me and who are gonna see this um, uh, it's gotten to the point where I have to talk to him uh, like this uh, interview him and uh, so without any further ado we're gonna get through with this is unscripted uh, all we had was uh, messages back and forth on Facebook and uh, I just wanted to say this guy's successful in what he does. He's uh, a, a pioneer and a leader in the industry. Um, he calls himself a small fish in a big pond, but uh, I, then I'm a guppy. <laughs> uh, he knows the internet, uh, he knows this business, and he wants to share with people the advantages of this currency um, as a supplement to what we currently have. So without any further talking on my part, Andrew, it is a complete pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for the intro. Uh, yeah, it's good to hear more people getting into Bitcoin because it is pretty interdisciplinary, you know, and there's a lot you can do with it. I, that, 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 geez, when you said interdisciplinary, I was thinking, wow, um, yeah, because, because, uh, different business, di different businesses, uh, different models can, can, they all typically work the same. But what, what really interested me was something called CoinFest that you have coming up, which is here to educate people like me that don't know much into what the Bitcoin is and what it can do. And, and by the way, here's Andrew's page. You can go check him out. This is what he looks like, and you can see he's got a, a bit. Yeah. He's dedicated to Bitcoin because it. Or with Bitcoin. Yeah. Well, you know what? It it quite. It's uh, I I've heard uh, rumors that you have done quite well with Bitcoin, and um, uh, congratulations that it's become uh, your. It's freed you enough to allow you to educate other people to become free because that's what's important is this element of freedom for people, and so here check this out, guys. Coinfest is coming up. And this is the coin fests that are everywhere in the world. Check this out, guys. Look at this coin fest everywhere in the world. It's awesome. Just everywhere here in Vancouver. Uh huh. That's right. That's the one we're going to. Uh, we're over here in this beautiful city. You can go anywhere to these other cities. Go click on it, and you can go to the homepage over here, coinfest.org. So tell us a little about what we're going to learn at coin fest, please. What? Well, what, what? What? What's the benefit as me knowing nothing about it? I I personally like gold. I, I personally like uh, real estate. I um, like people business. People like gold to like CoinFest too, probably. Oh, interesting. Um, you know, the idea is uh, free money. Um, currency for a long time has been a monopolized thing, not an industry, but a thing we take for granted. We're reaching a point where I think currencies have to be competitive, just like any other business on the market. We can't just assume a currency is in charge because it's been declared so. It has to be uh, competitive. And CoinFest is a way for lots of different currencies to show what they have to offer and for everyone else to learn about them. You know, and that's why we've kept the event free for everyone, to really try and encourage people to come out and to learn. And uh, you know, it was way more about Bitcoin at first and um, we accept Bitcoin at every CoinFest event for drinks and whatnot. 
But increasingly, there's all kinds of other interesting coins. And uh, I think that's where people like yourself are going to start to be really fascinated with mm -hmm. uh, the maraud of different things you can do with these other types of coins. Uh, you know, I don't want to quit the interview yet. Uh, I, I know that we said we'd keep it short. Do you mind if we continue for a couple more minutes, Andrew? No, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Um, so when we were talking on the Facebook, you mentioned that bit that now there's other things called like the real estate coin or, uh, and we kind of talk, because I'm interested in real estate, and you mentioned that this coin can be, you can create a coin out of, for real estate. And I was extremely fascinated. And now you have me, I was going to go anywhere. I was going to go anyway, excuse me. And um, uh, the, now you've intrigued me even further. Now I want to go there with an intention of learning how exactly to create this for real estate projects because I really like working in the real estate industry. Tell me a bit about this intriguing concept. And you told me that it was being done in other countries. Like there are countries that have successfully done this and purchased real estate, backed it with real estate and so on. I would call it emergent at this point, but there emergent, are other okay. countries where they're currently moving towards that and getting pretty close. Interesting. Um, it's more popular in countries where they have great difficulty registering land. Uh, for example, in, in Ghana, uh, the majority of land is not formally registered and no one owns it except insofar as they can physically defend it. Hmm. And that's a huge problem in the developing world. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's kind of started there first. But I guess going back a bit, you know, you can do anything with a coin. And you can back a coin with anything. You could back a coin with gold. You could back it with oil. You could back it with real estate. There is no limit to uh, the things you can do and back with a coin. You can back a coin with a service. That's another interesting idea. Uh, a coin could be redeemed for uh here's a here's an interesting one there's a coin that's redeemable for an hour of labor it's called chrono bank and that and that's really fascinating because that allows you to speculate on the value of an hour of labor hmm. if you believe that labor will go up in value then you would want to buy this coin or short it if you believe that human labor will go down in value and you could do the same with your real estate if you see potential for real estate to grow in your region, hmm. uh, you can make a coin and back it with real estate. And if real estate goes up in value, so too will your coin. And hmm. I think what's really intriguing uh, people outside the cryptocurrency industry is the fundraising potential that uh, you can sell your coin to people before it's officially released. Not unlike how I can sell a video game or movie before it hits the market, a pre-selling concept. And in doing so, you can raise millions of dollars uh, without getting in any real regulatory trouble, at least in Canada. Um, wow. Okay. I'm going to just uh, came up. There's a lot of phys philosophical questions that I have with this. I'm sure these are all going to be addressed at, at the CoinFest. Um, I see that the website is over here, guys, and I have just been completely wowed by Andrew and uh, uh, even how you communicate about it. So just sure and certain and with knowledge. And that's the kind of person that I want to be hanging out with when I'm learning about a new business or a new industry. So with absolute joy and thankfulness of being here and sharing this with us today. I'm going to say uh, until next time when we have another one of these, and hopefully ideally soon, we're going to get this out all to you guys. Hopefully we see you at the Coin Fest event. How can people sign up? You don't need to sign up. It's free. Just uh, go to the website. Uh, there's okay. if you s Go to Coin Fest 2017, and all the events are listed if you scroll down to the bottom okay. with times and dates. And uh, Okay, perfect. Vancouver is April 7 and 8. There they are. Oh, yeah. We have a hangout. You can watch the whole thing online. No. If you can't make it in person. Wow. And do you, like, names and numbers? It's just like, you like, you're, is it, do we become part of a database that you're going to give us more information and show us the how-tos? Because I'm, I'm actually, because of you, I've started, I've uh, uh, gotten a whole bunch of other Bitcoin um, uh, forums, which you're a part of, by the way, and I kind of, every time you post something, I watch it, and I've been learning slowly and surely. I mean, like every child, we want to run before we can even walk, of course. 
but I understand it's a slow and sure process. So I, I appreciate uh, that. Are we going to also become part of that process, a, a database of some sort? Well, the CoinFest uh, doesn't really have any registration database or anything like that. Wow. Be because it's free to attend, that hasn't been necessary. Um, it's just open, come as you go, come as you are. Um, wow. Although we've experimented with registering attendees on the blockchain, right. uh, which is something we've done before, but you don't have to to attend. Okay. It's just fun. Interesting. Uh, so you meet up group, if it's posted on a meetup group, check out your local meetup in your area, check out your local Facebook in your area. Um, uh, and of course, there's going to be, when you go to the event or whatever it is, just follow, just go and learn. Well, this is what a one and you've actually gotten grants for this too i keep on continuing because it's so interesting thank you so much andrew guys come to the event you can see it's very interesting i have a lot more questions to ask i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the recording now and i'm gonna continue with andrew privately haha <laughs> and uh wow. and come up with another video that'll help you out take care talk to you take care